Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by the Lewis Art. My name is Imanda Lokafo and in this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to create a simple pocket inside Blender. Just on a side note, Blender Alpha is out and you can download it. I will try to put the download link below. So this is like the official Alpha build of Blender which is close to finished. So with this you can report bugs if you experience anyone. So let's start up. So this is the startup file, which you can get also below the below this video. I'm going to leave a link which you can download it from. And then once you have downloaded the file, then we can start up. So what we want to do is just add a simple pocket around here. Just to draw it around this place. So that's what we'll be trying to do today. Um... So there are two different ways we can do this. Um, number one, we could just create the pocket shape and um, use it as its own separate mesh or its own separate geometry. Um, there are advantages. The pros and cons to that is it's faster, it's easier, but um, when it comes to animation, it's going to be really hard to make it um, work with the overall cloth shape. So the best way I suggest is um, always try to attach any um, cloth accessory like pocket. Sometimes I even at attach the button onto the shirt. So uh, let's just get into the tutorial. So first what we are going to do is set up um, a system where we can use the shrink wrap modifier and be able to trace out the pocket on top of the shirt. So I just added the plane and, and got a vertex out of it. Next, I will go and enable face snapping and then I'll turn on my snapping. Then I can place this vertex right on the surface of this shirt and it's going to stick there. So this is going to enable us to more accurate trace out the pocket. So it's going to just follow the underlining shirt. So to Incre um, increase your, your chances, uh, not increase your chances, to uh, like make life easier for yourself. It's good to use shrink wrap modifier. It comes really handy when retopologizing or tracing out organic shape. So this comes in really handy. So once you add the shrink wrap modifier, we can just play with some of the simple settings. So what we want to do is in the mode, we want to switch it from nearest surface point to tangent normal. So you could leave it at anyone, but I just found that this tangent no, um, normal project works better for me. Um, next, I want to switch it from on surface to above surface. What this enables me to do is that I can, if I enable it in the edit mode, is that I can easily offset the placement of the underlining mesh so I could sculpt I could retopologize or trace a mesh without it being um, intercepted by the underlining mesh so I will set the offset to 0 0.02 and we are good to go so let's trace out the basic shape of the pocket so I'll just extrude this and hope it does okay I thought it was about to crash on me um, so I'm going to just extrude this down So I'm not going to add much uh, geometry yet. So um, right now it's going to be um, really kind of frustrating to work with just the shrink wrap. But what's going to help if you turn on the snapping. So that's why I always leave it on even though I have shrink wrap modifier there. So now we can just easily place the vertex anywhere we want. to. So it just snaps automatically. Cool. So let's say we are happy with this and we want to attach it to the cloth. So first thing we need to fill in the holes. So selecting the two vertices and pressing F, we can add edge loop, an extra vertex. So now we just need to just fill in the rest.
So you can apply just basic principle from this tutorial to any design you are trying to do. The best thing is just understanding how it works. And if you have any question, you can always put it in the comment and I will answer you as fast as I can. Okay, so this shape is nice. So before I, I just want to add some extra um, edge loops so that I can have more geometry to play with. Okay, so I'm happy with this. Um, next, I will just pull this um, outward, which is not possible. Um, so that means we need to apply the shrink wrap. So we are done with it for now. And yeah, so it looks on it. Um, I will just pull this outwards from the shirt a bit so we have like space between it. And I always go ahead and add a vertex group. So I'm adding this vertex group so when I combine it with this mesh, um, I can have a easy selection um, group which I can just put click on select and it just automatically select the pocket for me. So I will just assign this and I can just name it pocket. Okay, and yeah, we're good to go. So we can just combine it with this dude. And also go ahead and smooth it out. So now it's not um, really lining up with the underlying mesh. So let's just do that. So I'll just move this really far from it. And just rough out the shape the area where I think it's going to fit in. So this area. going to be hard to select this place. Uh, you can do this. Okay, so I'm done selecting that. I will just delete it. Cool, so we have this. So now we, sh we can go ahead and just match it with a cloth. So selecting the edge, um, is now we'll be adding edge loops that confine with the edge flow of the shirt. So we don't want to add any extra thing to the shirt. We just add extra edge loops to the pocket itself. So select this and just hit F. And do this for the rest of the part of the shirt. So this part is fun. Okay. So make sure it's aligning perfectly. So it's that. <laughs> I will just use the vertex and just pull this down a bit and do this. So if you hold double click on the G, that's the grab key, um, you can edge slide or vertex slide. Okay. I think we're gonna get so I will just add one extra edge loop. So I I want to avoid triangle as possible. Um, okay, so we're done with this side. Let's fill up this one. So this wedge shape is distracting me, so I can just press Shift N, and it will fix that. Um, so I think I need to add one here. Nope. And we have done. Cool. Okay, so we've completely attached it to the underlying mesh. And we'll end up with this hole here. So um, the reason I added the pocket is I can select this and just easily push this inside. Okay. So it's always there for us later. So it um, easily did it. So by the way, in case you don't know how, or if you're interested in knowing how we created the shed, you can check out the previous video. I'll, I'll just put 
link uh, i had in the i icon on this video i'm going to just add the video so you can just easily assess it it's really interesting how we created the shirt okay so i'm kind of happy with it so what i would do now is just add an extra edge loop which we automatically um, go around just going to wireframe mode I think I need to push this pocket out a bit so we can see the edge loop. So if I add this edge loop, it should go automatically around and it's not doing that. I think we have a triangle somewhere. Anyway, we can just work with that. Not too bad. Um, if I want to add edge loop, I can just use the knife tool and just cut across it. All I just need is just one edge loop. Okay, so we got it now. So we can add the subdivision, so smooth everything out. Yeah. So I will need to push the pocket back in, close up to the mesh. So in case you're having um, viewport lag when you add your subdivision, you just need to reduce the quality, something like one, because we're using the Disney open subdivision, subdiv, that's why it has a new parameter for quality. So uh, it's looking quite neat. Um, let's just use the sculpt brush and just fight, fine tune everything. Make sure it's, we don't have any paint chain and stuff like that. Just smooth it out. And cool. So for this in in our hole, how we fix that is just extrude, uh, extrude one more time, and just extrude it down. So it would be your decision whether you want to close it up or not. But well, I advise for you to close it. Um, so let's just roughly close it up using. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, we should hide it. Okay. So let's just select this vertex and just close it up. So three, four, so three. Okay, so that's the last one. Cool. So that's basically how to create pocket inside Blender, and you can just smooth it out. Voila. So yeah. So and this is gonna be like really fun to rig this kind of mesh because you will get the right deformation and you will not get um, wrong weighting and. Yeah, so that's it guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more from me, hit the subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. So thank you again for watching it. Bye bye for now. See you next time.